Who gives this woman in marriage? I do. Thank you. Family and guests may be seated. You guys, get forward a little bit. And center, make sure you're centered up. Let's get this way. <laughs> well, Jeff and Rhonda, from your friendship, Obviously, a mutual love has developed, and so much so as each of you has seen in the other qualities of character that form the basis for life together. You've made the decision to be joined this day, surrounded by your families and friends, as husband and wife. And as their family and friends, Jeff and Rhonda want you to know that they recognize... <laughs> that they recognize that each of you has contributed something very special to their lives and that your love, your guidance, your encouragement and friendship is something that they will forever value. And that's why it's fitting you're here today to share in this celebration as they join their lives together in becoming one. I know they're very happy that each of you is here. He's got some lungs, hasn't he? <laughs> Jeff and Rhonda, you've decided to be married today because you want to commit your love and lives to each other. And no doubt you believe that you can meet each other's deepest needs for love and companionship. And when you think about it, you've truly honored each other just by choosing each other to share in this intimate and trusting way all the joys, hopes, and dreams of life. And I'm sure that you both recognize that love is more than the warm glow of romance, it's caring as much about the needs and interests of your partner as you do your own. And your love for each other does not cause you to lose your own identity, but it does unite you in life's goals and purposes. Marriage is love walking hand in hand together. It's laughing with each other about silly little things. And it's also learning to discuss big things with care and tenderness. In marriage, love is trusting each other when you are apart. It's getting over disappointments and hurts, knowing that these are present in all relationships. It's the realization that there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with than the one you're married to. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's growing old together. Marriage is being in love for the rest of your lives. We're quickly coming to the most important part of this whole ceremony, the vows that you will exchange. A lot of smiling faces back here. And you don't have to look. You can just take my word for it. <laughs> I know they're eager to see and hear you exchange your vows. But before you do, I want to remind you and all of us here of what a vow is. A vow is a solemn promise, a pledge that binds. It's a commitment. A commitment of heart, soul, mind, and body. A commitment that recognizes this, the marriage relationship, to be the most important of all human relationships. It's a commitment that will not let go because it is persistent and tenacious in the face of life's challenges. And in fact, your love and commitment can grow even stronger as you work through and overcome these challenges. And truly, it is one of life's greatest gifts to be able to both give and receive such a commitment as this. And understanding these things about the vows you're about to exchange causes us all to listen with great reverence and awe because we know they're not mere words. Jeff and Rhonda, as you prepare to exchange your vows, you may join hands. And first, Jeff, as you're looking at Rhonda, I'll ask you to repeat these vows to her. I, Jeff, promise you, Rhonda. I, Jeff promise you, Rhonda, that I will love and cherish you now and forever. That I will love and cherish you, cherish you now and forever. Why? We've got a long way to go, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we got the quick ones. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Looked good at the time, didn't it? It did. I wish I could talk to you louder. I give you my solemn pledge. I give you my solemn pledge to stay by your side as partner and best friend. 
to stay by your side as partner and best friend. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. To honor and respect you. Honor and respect you. To provide for your needs the best that I can. To provide for your needs the best that I can. <laughs> to protect you from harm. To protect you from harm. And comfort you in times of distress. To comfort you in times of distress. I commit to you. I commit to you. A lifetime of continued love and respect. A lifetime of love and respect. Trust and friendship. Trust and friendship. Rhonda, I'll ask you now to repeat these vows to Jeff. I, Rhonda, promise you, Jeff. I, Rhonda, promise you, Jeff. That I will love and cherish you now and forever. That I will love and cherish you now and forever. I give you my solemn pledge. I give you my solemn pledge. To stay by your side as partner and best friend. To stay by your side as partner and best friend. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To provide for your needs the best that I can. To provide for your needs the best that I can. To protect you from harm. To protect you from harm. And comfort you in times of distress. And comfort you in times of distress. I commit to you. I commit to you. A lifetime of love and respect. A lifetime of love and respect. Trust and friendship. Trust and friendship. Jeff, you may now take the ring that you have for Rhonda. The ring that you're giving as a symbol of your love for her. The ring, of course, is a circle so that it has no end. And that symbolizes the truth that your love for Rhonda will have no end, but will continue all the days of your life. You may place the ring on her finger. And as you hold her hand, I'll ask you to repeat these vows to her. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and I pledge to you my love, and I pledge to you my love, my devotion, my devotion, and my faithfulness, and my faithfulness, until death do us part, until death do us part, always and forever, always and forever. Rhonda, you have a ring for Jeff that you're giving to him as an outward sign of a commitment you're making to an endless bond of love, and this ring will serve as his ever-present reminder of your deep and abiding love. I'll ask you now to repeat to him these vows. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and I pledge to you my love, and I pledge to you my love, my devotion, my devotion, and my faithfulness, and my faithfulness, until death do us part, until death do us part, always and forever, always and forever. Jeff and Rhonda, let these rings serve as a constant, silent reminder of your love and commitment. And when you look at them, let them bring a smile to your face as you remember there's someone who loves you more than anyone else in the world. And there's someone you love more than anyone else in the world. At this time, we have a special reading by Caleb. I love you, not for what you are, but what I am when I'm with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all, over all the frivolous and weak things you cannot help seeing there. And drawing out into the light all the beautiful and radiant things that no one else has looked quite far enough to find. You've done it without a touch, without a sign. You've done it by being yourself. <laughs> Jeff and Rhonda, from now on your thoughts shall be for each other rather than your individual selves. Together your joys will be doubled and your sorrows cut in half. And may this candle you are about to light burn brightly as a symbol of your commitment to live a truly shared life.
by Eddie. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remember to say, I love you every day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having mutual va values and common objectives. It's forming a circle of love and common to another family. It's speaking words of appreciation, demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere in which, which each can grow. It's finding room for things of the spirit. It's a common search for the good and beautiful in this life. But now, hand in hand, with your, very, with your very best friend, you see, it's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. You bow with us and join us as we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we welcome your special presence with us here at this time and place. We know that marriage is from you, that you gave it to us as a gift of your love to fulfill our deepest needs for human companionship. We thank you for the safe travel you've given to every person to be here today, and to Jeff and Rhonda, and honoring us by inviting us to come and to share in this very special time in their life. And so we join our hearts in faith and prayer for them now and ask that their love and this commitment they're making now only grow stronger in the days and the years that lie ahead of them. And we ask that you bless them and their family richly in every possible way. And this prayer we offer through your name. Amen. <clears throat> Jeff and Rhonda. It is because you've made these vows of love and commitment to one another in the presence of God and these witnesses and with the blessings of your family and friends by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Jeff, you may kiss your bride. Please stand, ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Grab your bouquet, bouquet. And again, congratulate as I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey Salima. <laughs>